This game called Bondi's Barnyard is another one of my favorite FNAF fan games. With unique mechanics, a beautiful looking atmosphere, some terrifying jump scares, and everybody's favorite part, lore. Which in today's video, we will be theorizing, dust off the Matt Sponge because we'll be using him today. On the game job page under the story section, it says, A child's gone missing at Bondi's Barnyard on their own birthday. The child's mother filed a missing persons report to the local authorities. The restaurant claims no wrongdoing, but have double their safety precautions and has employed a full-time security guard we'll be uncovering everything and towards the end of the video we'll have the whole story revealed let's waste no more time and get into the game we start off the game immediately with a cutscene. the employment of a security guard is really an arbitrary decision to fulfill a legal requirement bondy grys 40 they're all equipped with a security system capable of tracking down any intruder they can even hear a person breathing within a 50 meter radius. What about the cow? Cool, the cow is different in that she is designed to care for a child who has lost their parents. Uh, she will keep them closer until the parents return. Excuse me, but this all seems a bit excessive for a children's establishment. Well, even though the animatronic security system is very hands-on, they wouldn't be able to kill an adult. What about a child? What about a child? Oh my god. Oh, he actually killed a child. No, he didn't kill a child. Don't listen to what the guy playing the game says. The child is just missing, not dead. If you read the newspaper, it says that it was the only child's birthday party. So happy birthday. Continuing in the game, we play by the hour. So it's just one night, but separated in sections using the hour system. We load into the night and immediately you can tell I was so confused. You are somewhere you're not meant to be. I guess you'll have to settle for the company of me. If the camera sees free saw, say she, don't let them put you on your knee. What? Don't left click at all if the camera is on. The camera's not on. What? Again, the phone guy on this game is so trash. Like, why are you singing? Just help me survive. But that aside, if you see, we're inside Q the cow, which means we are playing as the missing child that was on the newspaper. That could explain why he was singing, but couldn't explain how god awful it was. We look around the room and it seems like we're inside of a bar. Kind of questionable how we have a bar in a children's establishment, but it's all fine. But it's actually just an ice cream bar. Again, don't listen to the man playing the game. He doesn't know what he's talking about. We also have two doors on the left and the right that we can use to protect us obviously that tv that we see on the wall shows the time a face and the percentage the percentage represents the amount of oxygen we have the more it decreases the more the face gets sadder and sadder in order for us to not lose oxygen we have to press on the teeth of ku and it opens up allowing us to breathe oxygen increasing the percentage the mechanics for this game so far is beautiful i really do like it a lot now for the things that are able to kill you starting off with grise the pig grise has a middle pace footsteps this is important later that's why I'm mentioning his footsteps. He will appear on the left door and in order to send away, just close the door. Once he leaves, you can lift the door back up and also you'll gain oxygen from it, which I have no idea how that works. I guess his outrageous bacon breath gave us oxygen. The next thing that is able to kill us is actually the camera. The camera will rise and start looking at us. If we left click anywhere, then the security guard working at the place will shock us and we will die inside of Koo. So to beat it, just don't move or click. Now to actually beat the night. One thing about Grise the Pig is that his footsteps will play three times until he finally approaches the door once he's there close it and breathe until he leaves if you do this you won't lose any oxygen you'll actually start gaining oxygen and also on top of that get the bonus oxygen you get for defeating him if you do this every time you will be good on oxygen for the rest of the night but that's one animatronic i understood not the camera though ah! What the hell just happened? Thank God after you die, it tells you what you did wrong. So I went into the next attempt ready. Well, I thought I did. Get out. Let's go. Oh my God, it turned on, but I got it done. Woo. Ah! I'm an idiot. Why did I? Oh my God. I'm an idiot. 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 After I've died twice to literally the only two animatronics added into this night, I finally beat it. After every night, we get a cutscene, which means there's a story to be told here. Before we start with the cutscene, an important thing to note is that Ku is holding a chick, which I believe represents the child that we are playing as. I fully believe that. Let me just wait. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that's more fitting to go over the cutscenes. We start off the cutscene with mother telling us happy birthday 
and how she's going to allow us to go to Bonnie's barnyard. And that's good because now we know how we ended up here. Write that down. Write that down. When we continue, something cool happens. And in the background, you can see Mother. It doesn't have any significance to the story, but it's just cool to mention. Next is Grise asking us what he should build his house out of. Okay, straws, wood, brick. She used brick. Of course. Thank you. You're welcome, my dog. I got you, bruh. Hopefully, that doesn't make anything diff more difficult. Well, let's see if it did. When the clock strikes two, one threat becomes a crew. Just make sure you check the right door. Otherwise, you might not prepare for what's in store. Bro, these tapes are so useless. What do you mean? Why are you singing in the first place? Not gonna lie, this man is spitting. Because of the garbage singing, I had no idea what to do when I saw the chick run to my door. <gasps> huh? Close. Because ah! this man was so useless, I got jump scared by the chick whose name is actually Chickling the Chicken. He'll show up on the big TV and will be running in a direction. Depending on the direction he's heading towards, that's the door you want to close. Once he hits your door, you're able to lift the door back up. That's not the only animatronic added, as we have Forley the Sheep. Forley has fast-paced footsteps and works the same as Gry's, just on the opposite side. I ended up using the same strategy I used on the last night for this night, and it still worked perfectly. Something also relieving is that when the camera comes on, Whenever animatronic appears, it'll go back up so then you're able to close the door and survive. We beat the night really easily and we get another cutscene. We see Forley asking if we could be her little shepherd for today. And if you're slow like me, shepherd is someone who takes care of the sheeps. We say yes and then she asks us to count how many sheeps we see. One. That's right, there's one sheep. Thank you so, so much. Have a continued happy birthday. It's my birthday today? Yippee! Do I have any idea what this means? No. I'm gonna make an assumption that it's a callback to us getting lost and needing someone to accompany us. Might be a stretch, but don't care. I'm at Pat. For night three, finally the phone dude made sense. Might just be another friend whose goal is your end. A door won't put up a proper fight. To fend this guy off, you must use the light. Okay, so we use the light. Okay, see, that one made more sense. And the person that we need to use the light on is Bondi himself. Bondi will make noise signaling you that he's in front of your door. And as the phone guy said, just put your light on him and he'll go away. But make sure you just have it on him and don't flash it because this will happen. Nope, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Ah! So slow. But if you read the description given to Bondi, it reveals that Bondi's been burnt. And that's the reason why he's scared of the light. Just note that down. Note it down! Now for the new strategy I'm using for this night is just to keep breathing for oxygen until you hear any movements. Check around. If nothing's there, then continue breathing. Very simple, but it's effective. I was above 90 about the entire night until towards the end when it started to get intense. I should be good on oxygen. Nope, got him. Close. Got him. Close, close. Oh my God, please, please. Yes. Oh my goodness, that, that little stretch right there kind of scared me. But we got it done, oh my god. Now for the cutscene. It's Bondi handing us a birthday cake. We blow the candle out and accidentally burn the Bondi. And then we get a frame of him outside of the ice cream bar. I'm going to make a crazy obsession that us as a kid ran into the ice cream bar, hid inside of Kuda Cow as in the beginning he promised to protect us. And the reason why we're still in there even after hours is because we're scared of Bondi doing something to us. Dang your theory, I know that's why they call me the Matt sponge for night four i'm going to be honest with you it was the exact same thing as last night i beat it on my first try and it was chill for the entire time except sometimes i would accidentally close the door on bondi which would cause him to kill us but i was able to save myself each time now for the cutscene. it actually proves my last theory to be correct i mean of course it did like i'm always right all jokes aside cool asks us what's wrong as the chickling is looking traumatized then it immediately cuts to a scene of ku standing above us he tells us that no matter what it is he'll protect us then lowers and allows us to hop in i guess now for night five i'm not going to lie i was cooking barely any mistakes to be honest one problem was definitely the power i was losing it really fast but still i was able to keep my composure and get it done on my first try well i thought i did um 6 a.m wait chill 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 you're being oh i'm dead uh let me breathe let me breathe! Uh, no! I've died.
Yep, we went through all that to still end up dead inside of Koo. We lost all oxygen in there and died. The police are investigating the security guard also for not noticing that we were inside of the animatronic, which could be important, but I don't think so. What is though is the bottom text saying that the child had previous to climbing inside of the robot accidentally sent another robot afire. What can I say? I am the GOAT when it comes to these terrorizing things. So the story is we went into Bonnie's barnyard without our parents for our birthday. We met all the animatronics until we got to bondy which he gave us a cake and then we set him on fire by accident we ran to coo for protection we hide inside of it and that's how we ended up in that situation can we get a round of applause for matt sponge for this amazing work wow now after beating the game and revealing the story of the game i went to check out the extras you know look at the animatronics and things like that and i found some more animatronics that we haven't seen in the game so i went looking around to find out how to play with them and found out that there is a custom night mode and using that you're able to play with them so i did what any person would do attempt 20 out of 20 mode i'm above 90 oh no got him ah god damn it man oh oh my god i'm so slow that was slow that was so slow i should have clicked the first that was on me that was so slow what i clicked him Oh my god, I pressed- Oh my goodness, bro. I don't know if I can beat this, bro. Oh, I'm gonna go one more time. Close. Oh no! I'm so slow. Oh my god. Bro, my best friend's here texting me and it distracted me, bro. Okay, you're the reason why I just lost. I was recording just now and I, I lost because of you. You know what? I'm happy with that performance. I think I did pretty good. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see y'all next week.